Greetings everyone, this is Jim Todd with Video Surgeon and today I have another sneak peek video look for you at version 3. Now it's been a couple of months since we've had one of these and the reason is we've taken a lot of time working on the timeline section of Video Surgeon. And in fact, it's taken a lot longer than I had anticipated. However, it was and is important to get it done right. And while it's true that it is not the meat and potatoes part of the functionality for this video analysis software, like slowing down or zooming or split screen playback is, the timeline area is very important because if you can't find the frame or the segment of the video you're interested in, or the marker or the loop, or stated another way, if you're not able to easily navigate from the beginning to the end of the video, whether zoomed in or not, then it becomes clunky, inconvenient, and difficult to use. So it's important to get this right, and I think we have, and I want to just briefly review with you this section of the video program and what it can do. So let's go ahead and just sort of review step by step down here some of the functionality. So we have the video track here, and here we have the audio track, and you can see the audio, audio track is broken down into a left and right channel. You may also know if you're a version 2 user that that's a change. In version 2, we only have one channel of audio. We combine left and right. In this version 3, we have them separated. So similarly to what we have in version 2 and what you have in other video programs, we have lock and unlock features here simply meaning that if you have them locked, then you cannot edit them. If you unlock them, then you can edit them. Uh, we have the little check boxes here, which basically means if you deselect it, then it disappears from your screen. So whether it's audio or video, um, you can remove it from the screen from the playback as it's currently happening on your screen. So for instance, I have the left and right channels deselected when I play this back you won't hear any audio because they're deselected. Now let me reselect the left. And now the right. So that covers this part over here on the immediate left. Now, the more important part here is how we handle all of this stuff as we zoom in. And it was admittedly a bit clunky in version two, but it worked. Um, and we wanted to streamline this process, and I think we've succeeded in doing that. So let's just take a look at this. So you can zoom in by clicking plus or minus right here. Or you can grab this slider, and you can zoom in. Now, you may note here on the screen that as we zoom in as far as we can on this timeline, you can get up to a minimum, or I should say a maximum of one second of zoom. So you can zoom in to the point that you have one second of time on this timeline, or if we zoom clear back out, obviously, the entire video is about four minutes and 37 seconds. So we can take one second of that and zoom in so we can see the details of what's going on. Now, one of the things you may want to do is obviously if we're all the way zoomed in, you may want to look at that current section where the progress indicator is. And this is one of the difficult things about version 2 when it came to using it. It was tough to scroll back and forth on this timeline. And we have this slider now that allows you to go from the beginning to the end of the timeline, whether it's zoomed in or not zoomed in, simply by grabbing it and sliding it. So as you can see, we can pretty easily do that and we can zoom in and we can see the part of the timeline that has the progress indicator on it. So this timeline slider makes it much easier to navigate from beginning to end, regardless of the zoom level. to find what it is you're looking for. And so this is a big improvement, a big change over version two. The other change that we made comes from the requests that we receive from all of our users, and that is that there are some videos that people have where the audio and the video are not completely synced. 
And now we have a way to deal with that. And that is, let me just zoom back out here. So what we're able to do is we're able to unlock the audio channel, click on it, and then using our left and right arrow buttons, we can actually slide it left or right. And then once we find the position we need to resync a video, if it's indeed out of sync, then we can lock it and now it will play in sync. And with that, we'll conclude this sneak peek video on Video Surgeon version 3. Stay tuned to this newsletter for further updates on the development of this new product. And as you will read below, we are hoping and we're working hard to have this available by the end of the year.